The stock market is blasting to the upside right now. Today is November 10th, but even if you're seeing this video a couple days later, it's okay. Um, there are some very important things we need to cover in this video about why the stock market is blasting to the upside, what this key inflation report actually means, and which stocks are going to explode the most um, over others in the future, because there are a lot of important things to cover especially with the market overall right now and with inflation data. So we're not wasting any time. Let's get right into it. So uh, basically what happened today is we had the inflation report come out and the inflation rate came in at 7.7%, which is bad and good. 7.7% inflation is not good and you do not want to see that over long periods of time. The main reason the stock market exploded up today is because even though we saw high inflation, inflation is actually finally, finally starting to come down. So check out this chart right here. We can see that over the past year in June, inflation peaked at 9.1% year over year. That is way too much. That's unsustainable. The Federal Reserve, especially over the past year and especially over the past couple of months, have really been trying to get inflation down because it's necessary for the stock market and the economy overall. Inflation like this is unsustainable and it'd be horrible if we saw this for extended periods of time. So now that we're finally starting to see inflation come down, that's an amazing, amazing sign, uh, especially for the economy. What's also a great boost is that the Federal Reserve has been increasing interest rates like crazy over the past year, as we can see on this chart right here. What's cool is that because inflation is actually starting to calm down, um, the Federal Reserve was expected to increase interest rates again on December 14th by 0.75%. But because inflation is finally starting to come down, now the Federal Reserve is only expected to increase interest rates by 0.5% on December 14th. So basically, investors are getting a lot less worried about inflation, which is a very good thing for the economy and the stock market considering we are finally starting to see some good signs in the market overall. Looking more at what is actually causing most of the inflation in October 2022 compared to October of 2021, we can see that like food at work and school obviously popped up, eggs are exploding, uh, airline fares, butter, health insurance, gas of course, pet food, all these are just really, really leading inflation to the upside. But there's also some interesting data where we're actually seeing deflation in certain items. We can see that smartphones are actually down 23 per, around 23% year over year. Admission to sporting events is down 17% year over year. Televisions are down 16% year over year. Even beef is down 3.6% year over year. So it's like overall inflation is heavily weighted to the upside, but some aspects are actually starting to see some deflation, which is very interesting, very interesting. Um, looking at the market going forward, not all stocks will be treated equally in the run-up going forward. Uh, looking at the S&P 500 right now, it's blasting to the upside. And basically what you need to know is the fixed income market or the bond market is a lot bigger than the stock market overall. If we look at treasury yields, they've been exploding over the past year. Even mortgage rates, all types of rates have been exploding over the past year. That type of rise in treasury yields is almost unheard of. Like we've almost never seen anything like this before and it definitely has a negative impact on, st on the stock market. So now that we're finally finally starting to see this come down a little bit. That is an amazing sign for the stock market. Going forward, you need to watch treasury yields. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay. Um, there's a lot of easy ways to you know, do it on TradingView just by plotting the ticker symbols I have uh, on my TradingView chart at the top left. But honestly, like the easiest way to follow them, or at least like the uh, longer end of the treasury curve is just go to the stock TLT. Basically, when TLT goes up, that means rates are falling. When TLT goes down, that means rates are rising. You want to see TLT either be flat or going up, and that will be good for the stock market. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, these treasury yields, they're finally showing some signs of downwards movement. That's awesome. Realistically, they will not uh, come back down to the levels we saw them at 
earlier this year. Probably not going to happen, but what we might see happen is treasury yields just start to calm down a little bit and then just stagnate, which is also totally fine. So if they just like fall a little bit and then just stagnate for some time, that's that would also be a good sign for the stock market because it, it just there's less panic in, in the bond market overall if that happens. Now looking at some key stocks to watch going forward. Like I said, not all stocks will run up equally in the future. And there are a couple reasons for that. But one just has to do with how the market tends to move in cycles. If we look at the performance of individual S&P 500 stocks year to date, right? This is the performance of each stock year to date. Some things that pop out to us are one, you know, we have, you know, the energy stocks, energy minerals industry exploding. ExxonMobil's up 80%. Chevron's up 54%. Um, some defense stocks are up a tremendous amount as well, like Lockheed Martin, Raytheon. Um, healthcare stocks like LLY and MRK are also up a ton. But certain stocks like Amazon are down 42%. Meta, down 67%. And you know you can just see that not all stocks have moved equally this year. Going forward, most likely the stocks that fell the most will have the easiest time running up. Let me give you an example. Meta, year to date, is down 67%. Meta is one of the stocks that are up the most today. Meta is straight up exploding right now. And basically all of the other stocks that are down a ton year to date are recovering up more than the stocks that are already up, if that makes sense. So like Meta, they are exploding today. They are up 8%, right? If we look at another one that's down a lot year to date, like Amazon, they are also leading their area of the market with Amazon being up 12% and they were actually up a lot more earlier on. But then you look at some of the stocks that are already up the most year to date, like ExxonMobil or Chevron. Let's take a look at them. They're they're, they're down. They're, they're red on a day like today. And I know that the dollar's been rising too and you know they have more to do with like um, you know, the oil industry, of course. But even if you look at some stocks like LLY, this is one of the leading S&P 500 stocks in the market year to date. And LLY today is very disappointing on a day where everything else is green. So basically going forward, if you're looking to play stocks, consider looking at the stocks that are down the most year to date, short, to ter short term, because it'll be easier for them to pop up. You know, it's a lot easier for Meta to pop to the upside when we have bull runs, considering it's down 67%, rather than a stock like LLY that's already up 33%. The market moves in cycles, not only in terms of like macroeconomic cycles, but also in terms of rotation. Uh, every couple months or so, we see certain areas of the market outperform other areas of the market. Over the past couple of months, like let's say we look at um, like the past three months performance, we can see, again, oil stocks have been doing great compared to tech stocks, right? But going forward over the next three months, tech stocks might do great compared to oil stocks. So we're always seeing cycles and rotations. Going forward with these rotations, Look at the stocks that are down the most year to date. To do this, just go to, tr just literally search trading view heat map, right? And then make sure it's S&P 500 index, and then you can just change it like this and do whatever you want. It's a very helpful tool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is huge with this inflation data coming in positive. Inflation has been like a killer this year for the economy. Um, it's good to finally start to see inflation calming down. It's a very, very good sign. We eventually want this inflation rate to get down to like, you know, around 2.5% or so. Um, re realistically, that will take some time, but it's awesome to see this inflation data moving the way it is. It's a very good sign for the market. Um, if you guys are new to the channel and you learned something, make sure to subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day, so make sure to subscribe. This is a huge point huge point for the market like stocks are blasting to the upside uh off of some great news so i am pumped for the rest of the year um I'm, I'm very excited so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new and let's have an amazing end to the week